It's a tough day for students and staff at Citronelle High School. Many students were just finding out one of their classmates was dead. He was killed in an accident. It happened on Coysmith Highway last night as the football team was returning from a team dinner. Fox 10 News reporter Hubert Tate talked to students today. He joins us now from our studio. Hubert? Bob, most high school campuses are getting ready for Friday night football, but not the students at Citronelle. Instead, they are remembering a teammate who leaders say always gave it his all. On the day when most kids have pep rallies, the Citronelle football team is mourning. Josh was like a brother to me. Nothing like this is ever positive. He was a, he was a clean cut person, you know, real nice. Friday morning, the Wildcat team gathered around the school's flagpole to remember number 74, Joshua Crea. The sophomore was killed on Highway 96 in Citronelle. Police said the truck he was in spun out of control, flipped several times, and landed in the woods. Some of his teammates went to the scene. Really, I'm going to miss most by, you know, playing football with him. So, you know, being in the field house and on the field. Police say they do not believe alcohol was a factor in the crash. However, they do say speed may have been the cause. You know, you miss anybody, you lose. I mean, Joshua's just a... You just hate to see that. I mean, we're just going to miss him as a person. At the time of the crash, the defensive lineman was with his teammate, senior player Kendrick Rafour. Rafour had minor injuries and has been released from the hospital. Teammate Sean Rivers is worried about Rafour and says Crea will be missed. He's always there when I needed him. And Kendrick, the same thing. He was a real quiet person and he just there if you ever needed him. Meanwhile, the team will now play ball tonight because of Crea's death. Like I said, he's a beautiful person. I mean, you don't, you, you can't replace a Joshua. Now the team will play tomorrow night instead at Faith Academy. That game is scheduled to start at 6 p.m. Leaders say Joshua will be remembered at the game.